Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. So today we have hemostasis in human physiology. So hemostasis is the mechanism of blood coagulation. So this video is all about the three steps of hemostasis that is the vasoconstriction, platelet plug formation and blood coagulation and the blood coagulation in detail the intrinsic and extrinsic pathway so let's learn about hemostasis and blood coagulation so hemostasis hemostasis it is defined as arrest or stoppage of bleeding and the stages of hemostasis so what happens uh, when a blood vessel is injured the injury initiates a series of reactions which results in hemostasis which occurs in three stages the first stage is vasoconstriction where the construction of vessels happens then the second stage is platelet plug formation there will be accumulation of platelets and there will be a temporary plug formation and finally the coagulation of blood so the first step vasoconstriction so in vasoconstriction so immediately uh, after the injury the blood vessel constricts and decrease, decreases the loss of blood from damages damaged portion okay so these blood vessels are cut uh, and the endothelium is damaged and there will be exposure of the collagen fibers so what happens is when uh, the damage happens platelet comes to action and they adhere to this collagen and gets activated so these activated platelets secrete serotonin and other vasoconstrictor substances which cause constriction of blood vessel so this attachment of platelets to the collagen is accelerated by von Willebrand factor okay so you must have heard of that factor von Willebrand factor von Willebrand factor and this factor acts as a bridge between a specific glycoprotein present on the surface of platelet and collagen fibril so this is acting as a bridge okay between the platelets and collagen fibrils so in platelet plug formation once the platelet get adhered to the collagen ruptured blood vessels there will be secretion of adenosine diphosphate and also thromboxin a so these two substances attract more and more platelets and activate them so all these platelet aggregates together and form a loose temporary platelet plug so there will be a platelet plug formation because this will attract more and more platelets which close the ruptured vessel and prevent further blood loss so these uh, platelet aggregation is accelerated by platelet activating factor that is p a f platelet activating factor so that is platelet plug formation the second stage whereas the third stage that is a coagulation of blood so during this process the fibrinogen is converted into fibrin so that is what we are going to learn so fibrin threads get attached to the loose platelet plug which plagues the ruptured part of blood vessel and prevents further blood loss completely and by definition blood coagulation or blood clotting is defined as a process in which blood loses its fluid and becomes a jelly like mass few minutes after it is shed out that is coagulation so it loses its fluid and it becomes a jelly like mass after a few minutes 
that is blood coagulation or blood clotting so before learning the two pathway that is intrinsic and extrinsic pathway we need to learn the clotting factors so coagulation of blood which occurs through a series of reactions due to the activation of group of substances which is necessary for clotting these are known as clotting factors so we have 13 clotting factors the factor number one is fibrinogen two is prothrombin three is thromboplastin or also known as tissue factor and the fourth one is calcium fifth one is label factor sixth one is not yet proved there is no component mentioned as six whereas the seventh one is stable factor eighth one is anti hemophilic factor ninth one is christmas factor tenth one is steward prover factor 11th is plasma thromboplastin antecedent or PTA 12th one is Hegman factor or contact factor 13th is fibrin stabilizing factor so these are the 13 clotting factors which involved in the clotting mechanism either in intrinsic pathway or extrinsic pathway so sequence of clotting mechanism so most of the clotting factors are proteins in the form of enzymes okay so normally all factors are present in the form of inactive proenzyme inactive proenzyme that is not uh, able to activate any pro so proenzyme is not able to conduct uh, any such reactions so these proenzyme must be activated into enzymes to enforce clot formation okay so it is carried out by a series of proenzyme enzyme conversion and first one of the series is converted into active enzyme that activates the second one then which activates the third one and this continues till the final active enzyme thrombin is formed so till here there will be continuous activation 12th becoming active that in turn is making active of 11th factor 9th factor 10th factor so we have basically three steps of blood clotting that is three stages that is formation of prothrombin activator from injury to here the second stage is conversion of prothrombin into thrombin and the third step is conversion of fibrinogen into fibrin so stage one stage two and stage three okay so stage one is formation of prothrombin activator okay so from the damage to prothrombin activation is within stage one that is blood clotting commences with the formation of substance called prothrombin activator which converts to prothrombin and thrombin its uh, formation is initiated by substances either within the blood or outside the blood thus the formation of prothrombin activator occurs through two pathways so within the blood is intrinsic pathway and outside the blood is extrinsic pathway this is within this is outside okay that is why it is known as extrinsic and this is intrinsic so that is prothrombin activator which converts prothrombin to thrombin so intrinsic pathway mechanism so this is the intrinsic pathway so what happens is so in this pathway the formation of prothrombin activator is initiated by platelets which are within the blood itself okay these platelets are present within the blood so in intrinsic pathway what is happening so during the injury the blood vessel is ruptured endothelium is damaged and collagen beneath the endothelium is exposed okay so this is a 12th factor which is known as Hegman factor this 12th factor which comes in contact with with this collagen 
and it is converted into a activated so this a means activated so activated factor 12 in the presence of calicrine so in the presence of calicrine this 12th factor become activated okay so this activated 12th factor in turn activate the inactive 11th factor okay this is a series of reaction so the 11th factor become activated so the 11th factor is in turn activating the 9th factor the 9th factor is christmas factor 11th factor is plasma thromboplastin antecedent so 9th factor is getting activated with the help of 11th factor and the 9th activated factor changing the 10th factor into 10 activated factor that is 3rd prover factor so 12 11 9 and 10 that is a sequence okay 12 11 9 and 10 this is not happening in a decreasing order like 12 11 10 9 it is happening 12 11 9 and 10 okay. so thereby prothrombin activator forms via platelets and formation of phospholipids and prothrombin activator which activates prothrombin to thrombin okay so that is happening in the stage 2 so prothrombin is converted to thrombin okay so there will be two mechanism that is positive feedback mechanism and negative feedback mechanism with thrombin and prothrombin activator okay so once the thrombin forms that is coming under stage 2 so there will be two mechanisms whereby thrombin formation is activated by prothrombin activator that is either positive feedback or negative feedback when there is increased demand of thrombin the positive feedback mechanism will work and there will be amplification of thrombin production and if the thrombin production is not uh, very much is required then there will be negative feedback mechanism happens and the production will decrease that is a second mechanism that is negative feedback okay so after that this thrombin uh, fibrinogen will be converted to with the help of thrombin fibrinogen will be converted to fibrinogen a then there will be loose transfer fibrin and ultimately a fibrin tight blood clot is formed so that is blood clot formation or blood coagulation okay so whereas the extrinsic pathway what happens is the formation of prothrombin activator is initiated by the tissue thromboplastin which is formed from the injured injured tissue okay that is tissue thromboplastin this is a mixture of glycoprotein and phospholipid so tissue thrombo thromboplastin is formed from the injured tissue and this tissue trauma which activates the factor number 10 with the help of factor number 7 and this activated factor 10 is helping the prothrombin activator with the help of calcium and factor number 5 okay and the same mechanism will happen positive and negative feedback and it will go to stage 3 either intrinsic or extrinsic pathway that is conversion of thrombin uh, thrombin will convert fibrinogen to fibrinogen A then there will be loose transfer fibrin and ultimately fibrin tight blood clot happens okay so that is the mechanism of blood clotting or blood coagulation it is happening in three stages basically that is vasoconstriction platelet plague and blood coagulation so the blood coagulation again happening in three stages stage one stage two and stage three stage one is until the prothrombin activator formation stage two is thrombin formation and stage three ultimately the blood clot forms and it could happen two ways intrinsic and extrinsic pathway intrinsic the factors involved are factor number 12 11 9 10 and prothrombin activator converts prothrombin to thrombin whereas the extrinsic pathway is thromboplastin which converts 10 factor 
with the presence of 7 and the activated factor number 10 is helping prothrombin activation to convert prothrombin to thrombin with the help of calcium and factor number 5 and finally the thrombin converts fibrinogen to fibrinogen A and fibrin to ultimate fibrin tight blood clot okay so this could be a long essay like intrinsic pathway or extrinsic pathway or the mechanism of blood coagulation or hemostasis as a long essay and uh, uh, the clotting factors 13 clotting factors such as fibrinogen prothrombin thromboplastin which is also known as tissue factor calcium label factor then 7 is stable factor 8 is anti hemophilic christmas factor stuart pro factor plasma thromboplastin antecedent 12th is Hegman factor and 13th is fibrin stabilizing factor. So that's all about blood coagulation, hemostasis or blood clotting for intrinsic and extrinsic pathway. So I'll come up with a new topic in physiology. Thank you.